Hello and welcome to Big Barrel Tech. Today we're taking a look at the unboxing of the ASUS N550JK. This model replaces last year's model, the N550JV, and the JV replaced the model from about three years ago. I believe it was called the N56 or some kind of N. Here I am unboxing, well cutting open the box, with a throwing knife. You can get these cool knives at Chinatown or online. I bought this laptop from BH Photo Video for about $1,059. That's the cheapest I've seen it be sold. Today it cost $1,099, which is on par with Amazon, but depending on what state you live on, Amazon will charge tax. And let's see. It's definitely a big box, and ASUS has done a much better job in recent years of uh, designing their boxes. I remember buying a laptop from them two or three years ago. It was a basic brown box, really ugly and unappealing. Alright, opening up the box, we have a second layer of cardboard. Very nice for protection. And the laptop's in some type of plastic paper composite bag to protect it from scratches. And it's placed in a nice cardboard tray that you just take right out. And here are the little accessories they include, including a cable tie and some manuals and user guides that no one ever reads. And right here is what they like to advertise as the separate subwoofer or sonic master it does improve the sound quality sl slightly but it's not as great as they advertise it and really no one likes to plug in extra things to a laptop because you know laptops are just made to be all-in-one devices and the power brick is definitely a brick is a behemoth of a power brick. It takes up a large amount of space, but there is a problem with it, and that is that the cable is very short. I don't know why they chose to make the cable so short. And this laptop does come with one of the most powerful Processors, a 2.4 GHz Intel Core i7-4700HQ processor, which is part of the Haswell family. As a result, it does have pretty good battery life considering its uh, specs. You can get about 4 hours out of this doing just basic things like uh, word processing or web surfing. Definitely expect something closer to two hours if you're video editing, rendering things, or gaming. And it's this laptop also has a dedicated graphics card, which is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 850M. Very powerful. Good enough for almost all the new games, maybe not at Ultra. And the keyboard here is very nice. Some people don't like the silver on silver color, add on the fact that the backlight is also silver, and people say that there's literally no contrast. But as you can see, there's very good contrast between the letters and the actual keys, unless your vision is not the greatest. And of course, if you turn on a backlight during the day, you won't be able to see it. Here on this side, the CD drive seems to be popping out a little bit. It was a pretty big concern for me initially, but after a closer inspection, you can just pop it right back in. It's just because ASUS seems to have a quality control with this. Um, someone else on their Amazon review talked about how their CD drive stuck out a bit, but it's just because the faceplate isn't snapped onto the actual CD drive yet, and if you just add a little pressure, it'll just snap right back in. On this laptop, there are three USB 3.0 ports, two on this side, one on the other. There is also a mini display, HDMI, Ethernet, the extra audio port for 
the subwoofer, which is a 2.5 millimeter, I believe. And the screen is a 1080p display with a matte finish on the inside. But of course, the glass makes it glossy, so there's no getting around that. And here, the laptop isn't starting for some reason. And after plugging it in, the power light came on. Definitely a sigh of relief, considering how much this laptop cost. At the time of this review, which is mid-2014, it definitely, this laptop definitely has one of the best uh, values for the price. So if you're looking for a powerful laptop for back to school, this is definitely a laptop to consider. I chose this one over the Lenovo Y50 simply because this looks better and has better build quality than the Y50 and it's cheaper. The Y50 cost about 300 more for the touchscreen version than this laptop. The only bad thing about this laptop is that the included hard drive is a traditional hard disk which runs at 5400 RPM, although it is one terabyte, it's terribly slow. One of the nice touches is that the ASUS logo does light up, but unlike the Apple ones, no one really makes cool decals for ASUS. Here we are, waiting forever for the laptop to start, and here we go. This is the Windows 8.1 64-bit setup. And it's really quite nice. If you like this video, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe for more tech news and opinion. Thanks for tuning in to Big Barrel Tech.